Hi, welcome to another episode of Sketchman Draw. So today we're going to talk about shading. So I just want to show you a few um, art books first. Um, so this is how to draw comics the Marvel way. And here we see some examples of just very simple like light and dark, light and dark, like some, some basic uh, 3D geometrical shapes being shaded here. Okay, so for example here, okay, we can see that the light is coming from this side. From here, you know, maybe the light is coming from this side. And this side and so on, right? So, we have spheres. Cylinders, of course. So we'll be drawing the cylinders in a, in a moment, but I just wanted to um, give you some examples. So, let's... How to draw Marvel? Uh, how to draw comics the Marvel way? Sorry. Um, this is a book by Frank Cho. So this is drawing beautiful women by Frank Cho. And so this is just to like you know without getting into too detail about the tool like the the, the tools. Um, so this is just an example of hatching and cross hatching. Uh, not mostly hatching. Um, that he's creating with pen. So this is just to show you that you can also do this with, you know, of course you can paint, right? So you can do shadows in paint, you can do with pencil, but today we're going to be doing pencils. And uh, so he's doing pens and of course uh, he's creating different lines, different combinations. He's also using different uh, thicknesses or maybe he's going over um, the same lines to create the darker values. And uh, yeah, so I'll also be explaining the things that you'll be hearing. Like whenever you hear me talk about values, and I think you'll hear this um, if you're absolutely new to drawing. Um, values is basically the different levels of darkness and lightness that you can create with uh, lines. Okay, so that's drawing beautiful women, uh, the Frank Cho method. Um, this is just for your general knowledge and I really love this so I just wanted to show you if you are curious uh, because how, how the grade pencil grades work I just have to bring it close so that I don't get the glare um, so most people I think have um, HP right so I'll be using HP uh, but you can see like as we go from the B to B I also use 2B actually I really love 2B it gets darker and then if you go on the other side till 5H 7H like yeah it will get lighter okay but um, we'll just start with one pencil because you were going to really this would be like the introduction to shading so we'll just start really simple with one type of pencil grade and well this is just a this is just a book called artist drawing techniques and it's pretty generic it's not for many artists or anything but I don't know I just just like it and it, it, like I think I'll, I'll cover it in my channel in more more in depth in the future. Okay, so now let's talk about some terms. Okay, so let's um, talk about some terms. Okay, and then so I just wanted to like yeah, and then we'll talk about tools. So so for the terms, like I think. Um, roughly, if you are getting into shadows for the first time, what you need to do is um, hard edge. And then soft edge. So whenever you see a shadow shape, right? And I'm kind of tired of like just spheres and so let's just do a... Um, let's say this is the <laughs> this is a shadow shape. Okay? Again, I'm just coloring in. I understand why they use a sphere, but yeah, everybody uses a sphere. So. Hard edge is when the the outline of the shadow is clearly visible, okay? And soft edge is, you know, you remember we talked about the uh, the light and dark? 
so is the transition between the light and dark is a little bit soft okay it's a little bit more subtle let's say so how do you create that you can do that with these so I'm using a HP pencil here um, you can use the q-tips or earbuds I don't know, uh, no, ear, ear, I don't know how you call it like q-tips right um, so you can You can do this again. I, I know there are like so many factors, like the uh, the paper and, and so on. But try, um, you know. Okay. So you see, I, I I started to smudge there. Okay. You can also use the the piece of the paper, like. Um, uh, some people use the finger, don't do that, because you get, first of all, you get dirty fingers and then, you know, you can put your fingers in your eye or something. And the idea is that, yeah, just, just, like, smudging that. Yeah, I just wanted to bring it closer a bit, so you can see clearly. Or this is what the professionals use, right? Like this is a stump. Um, so it's basically, um, in my opinion, I mean, when I touch it, it's just made from paper. So and it's just, you know, because you can hold it like a pencil, it just gives you more control. And you see, like, like you know, you see, like the. The edge of this is difficult to detect and you have a clear edge here so this is hard edge soft edge okay another two uh, terms that you need to know is form shadow and then cast shadow So for this, um, we're going to draw um, a cylinder. Like I feel like cylinder is a better one than sphere because a lot of the things can be drawn with a cylinder, like the neck or the. I mean, the nose is a pyramid, but it, yeah, you can you can work from the basics of the cylinder. So you know, like okay, let's say the the floor is here. So the light is coming from this way. Let me make that small transition. Oh, sorry. Let me erase this. So, so here we have a form shadow, which is the surface of the uh, the object facing away from the light, and then we have a cast shadow here, okay, which basically projects the the silhouette of the object, but and the silhouette sort of takes the form of the surface is projected. So here the surface is straight like this. So it, it, it just goes straight. If the, um, the cylinder is projecting onto a stair, for example, so it, it will take the shape of the, the steps. Okay. Another thing um, you need to know is uh, you'll hear a lot of people talk about is the values. Okay. 
and values is basically like I said different levels of darkness so let's say you know this is like so I think this is very useful you should do this as a practice so let's say I have one two three four right so let's say this is the 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 lightest one this is the darkest one so and let's just start coloring in so I'm just hatching like putting like parallel lines like parallel diagonal lines like this and then just like paint I'm just going to add another layer so And again, I'm just doing four like as an example, but you can do however many you want. And it's the same pencil, it's the HP. Um, just by varying, just by adding layers of lines and varying the pressure I'm putting on the, I'm able to create this scale, right? And yeah, so when you look at shadows, you know, all, not all the shadows will be the same, the same uh, value, right? Like some shadows will be darker. Um, because they are, the light is not getting there um, as much as in other areas and so on. So we'll look at some, so now let's look at some examples uh, in pictures to see how that uh, translates. So um, yeah, let's, let's identify some um, uh, foam shadow versus uh, cast shadow here. So for example, typically in the, on the face, um, so here, for example, so yellow is um, uh, form shadow and uh, blue is cast shadow. So if you look at the nose, like for example, clearly here, the part facing away from uh, stupid, the part facing away from the light, this is uh, the form shadow, okay? And then the the nose is casting a shadow here. Right. Ah, sorry. Right. So you, you see another uh, foam shadow here, of course the uh, rest is hidden, and then here the face itself is casting a shadow here. Okay. So here, so actually yeah, the, the cylinder, like for example if you look at the neck, right, like so this is like cylindrical shape, right? So we're going to create So here essentially we have form shadow. We have another form shadow here. We have another form shadow here, and then same as uh, the previous example, we have the nose casting a shadow there. And another thing which is really interesting, like it's the it's the fact that the shadows, the foam, especially foam shadows, of course, it's they wrap around the form, right? Like the so the, here we have an arm, and so you know, as if you can notice, like that, it's, it creates this really beautiful kind of shape, like in of it of himself, right? Like, and within that, actually, there is even like a uh, cast shadow there, um, here. Like it's a little bit darker in this area, so if I remove that, you'll see 
like there's a little bit more darker so I think it's, so it, no, it's 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 like a little bit deep in that area so it's casting a shadow there so but yeah but uh, the, the basically the um, the parts facing away from the light will like sort of get darker and then like form these form shadows and then the parts the subject itself will cast a shadow onto the su the, the surface close to it or on the surface uh, it's located on of course I mean in this case if you're talking about the nose when you're drawing the face is typically the part that's going to cast a shadow like for example even the lips and things like that so um, again I just wanted to do a quick like introduction on shadows um, so if you have any questions or any comments uh, about the shadows or shading your drawings please let me know in the comment section below otherwise this is uh, Boris for Sketchman Draws